Hello everyone, my name is Kirill and you are on the Audio Advisor channel. Today we will talk about the diesel fuel injector and the common rail system. The common rail system is now found in almost every diesel car, but at one time this system was a revolutionary idea. Before its invention, a large fuel pump was installed on cars, in which there were plunger pairs, and from this pump the fuel tank pipes went directly to the engine cylinders. The problem was that this large fuel pump was mechanically controlled, and it was impossible to adjust the fuel supply depending on various factors, like rotation speed, temperature, pressure and so on. And then the common rail system appears, which is actually called the diesel common rail direct injection. The bottom line is that the pump is now much smaller and it doesn't supply fuel to the engine cylinders directly. Now there are fuel injectors and a fuel rail present. For those who do not know, the common rail is a relatively large pipe, which is also called a pressure accumulator. It maintains high pressure, and tubes go from it to each injector. A distinctive feature of the common rail system is that the injectors are controlled by the engine control unit, and so it can take into account various factors and sensors, like rotation speed, pressure and temperature. This leads to the increase of the engine efficiency and power, reduces harmful emissions and fuel consumption. Depending on the generation, two types of injectors are installed on the common rail system – electromagnetic and piezoelectric. The main element of electromagnetic injector is a solenoid valve, which is also found in petrol injectors. We have a video about them, the link is going to be in the description. A solenoid injector supplies fuel to the cylinders not once, but several times in one cylinder firing cycle. But as it turned out, this was not enough, and later the so-called piezoelectric injector was developed, which we have today in the studio. This is how a piezoelectric injector looks like. Inside it, there are a piezoelectric element, which we will talk about later. This injector can work several times faster than the previous solenoid one, and it allows you to inject fuel up to nine times in one firing cycle of an engine. Structurally, the injector consists of a body, inside of which there is a piezoelectric element, a valve, very small holes, and so on. At the bottom of the injector there is a nozzle spraying part. Inside this part there is a nozzle needle that rises and falls, and fuel is sprayed from this part. Fuel is atomized from the injection nozzle. It mixes thoroughly with air, thus improving ignition. Also, in the injector there is an inlet for supplying pressurized fuel, kinder here, and this is for electrical connection to the ECU. The basis of the piezo injector is a piezoelectric element, which is made from such substances that change its size under the action of electricity. Specifically to our injector, the piezoelectric element under the influence of electric current expands by only 0.1 mm, which is not very much, but it happens in 0.1 millisecond, which is very quickly. Because of this, fuel can now be injected up to 9 times per cycle, which improves efficiency, reduces harmful emissions and fuel consumption. Therefore, piezoelectric injectors have become a new stage in the development of the common rail system, which is why this small detail costs up to $300. But of course, this injector also has its limits and it can wear out. The main reason for failure is its clogging. Since there are very small channels inside this injector, remember I told you that the piezoelectric element expands by only 0.1 mm, so all of the channels and valves are about the same in size. Therefore, it can very easily clog with low quality fuel. If the fuel has some impurities, also when using some low quality additives, and so on. Experts say that piezoelectric injectors can last for about 200,000 kilometers, but the most interesting stuff begins later when you try to repair it. 
In fact, the developers, well, in this case, the Bosch company, says that these injectors are not repairable, which means disposable. And now imagine that one of them costs $300, and at least you need four, so in total you need to pay $1,200 after your car has reached a mileage of 200,000 kilometers. As for me, you can try to find some kind of service that will try to repair piezoelectric injectors, but you must definitely take some guarantees from them, because even to unscrew them from the engine comes with risks. When conclusions can be drawn. The piezoelectric injector is a pinnacle of the technological development of the common rail system. It has made possible to increase the power of the diesel engine, reduce its harmful emissions into the atmosphere, reduce its noise and so on. But most importantly, this injector extends the life of the diesel engine. Remember, in one of previous videos we talked that environmentalists launch a whole company against diesel engines, that diesel engines pollute the atmosphere. In connection with recent events, especially the Volkswagen scandal, many European countries, as well as many cities in Europe, will ban the entry of diesel engines into their centers. And for example, the Scandinavian countries will completely abandon diesel cars by some year. So many global automakers have announced that they are refusing to develop new diesel engines. This injector is a strong argument against those who dislike the diesel engine, since it allows to reduce emissions into the atmosphere. By the way, Bosch has stated that it continues to develop and improve the SIS and piezoelectric injectors in particular. Therefore, who knows, maybe the diesel engine is the future. I hope this info was useful to you, and now you understand how the common rail system works or what piezoelectric injectors are for. It is the Auto Advisor channel. All the best to you and see you soon.